Hi guys, welcome to Bali, a tropical paradise that offers a unique blend of culture, adventure and relaxation. It is a popular destination and for good reason. There are so many things to see and do in Bali, and people are friendly and welcoming. But they also can steal or skim your money, as well as give you high sky prices for cheap clothes or souvenirs. But let's start from the beginning. It's a beautiful island in Indonesia that is known for its stunning beaches, lush rainforests and ancient temples. I had a great 10 days vacation there lately, very cheap and lots of fun, and want to share my itinerary with prices. I'll make a few videos on Bali. Itinerary will include Kuta, the main area of Bali with its food and places to visit, also some tips on how not to get skimmed and make your adventure much cheaper. The island Limbangan next to Bali, with incredible beaches and cozy hotels, Bali Zoo and hotel in it, Ubud with its jungle and more. In this video I'll show Kuta and Seminyak. Kuta beach is one of the most famous beaches in Bali. Here you can soak up the sun, go surfing or stroll along the beach while enjoying local snacks from the street vendors. Unfortunately, beach here can only offer sunbathing and surfing. The sea is very rough for swimming, and if you'll survive waves, surfers on them will definitely get you. So it's not for swimming, but there is a lot of surfboards for rent, 5 to 10 bucks, and even lessons for 10 bucks an hour to help you stand on it, which is fun. The actual fun, though, is the food paradise. Tons of places with interesting dishes, fluffy pancakes, avocado fruit bowls and sandwiches, even avocado coffee. Also Lulak coffee, the one from this little animal poop, and here it's really cheap. Fresh, tasty and cheap seafood, nightclubs with pools in it, amazing sunsets, ice cream with few dozen tastes and much more. Let me show you a few places we visited. First will be Azur Beach Club, it's next to the beach and it offers great food and pool on the second floor. With a tea and cake set, that was just awesome, handsome selection of tea and tons of sweets. This set is for two people and it cost us $15 for two, so about $7 a person. And after you had your fun with sweets, you are welcome to use pool with beds next to it and towels all for free. To make your vacation smart and cheap, using app called Kluk, visiting Bali or some other Asian countries like Thailand, Malaysia, even Japan is a must. With this app, you can reserve activities and all kinds of services with huge discount. This tea party I've ordered there, so is my SIM card on arrival, without any line to wait and about 50% cheaper than buying directly, plus a 5 times more traffic on it, which makes it 10 times cheaper. Just order it and it will wait you at airport entrance. For dinner, great place we visited was Shrimpy's restaurant, with fresh and delicious seafood, huge lobster and $1 oysters, very good, squid ink pasta and much more, tasty and worth to try, also affordable. Next morning we went to have these fluffy porn cakes, it's the actual name of the dish at Brunch Club Bali, and the cakes live up to its name. Just look at this sexiness. As for moving around the island, there is two options, rent a bike or use local Uber, the app called Gojek or Grab. Both will save you a huge money, because ordering directly, driver will give you 10 to 15 times higher price, 200,000 instead of 15 that you will pay in the app. Maybe you can negotiate the price, but it's your time and not everyone like to do this, plus make it 10 times cheaper is hard. Also, it's better to register your credit card and app, that's the best way, because if you will pay with cash, there always will be conversation like Tip for me, sir. And with credit card you can avoid it. And also, the less you use and show cash, the best for you. We stayed in this villa, very amour romantic villas, which would be nice if hot water was working, but for the whole stay it didn't. We've been told that it's first time, but I don't buy it. 
So be aware if you want to try the same hotel. Except for that, very good with pool and jacuzzi. They can arrange breakfast to the pool for free and stuff is nice. They even prepared some honeymoon flower decorations to the room also for free and a variety of bigger decorations available for reservation here, but pricey. Close to this villa is a fancy coffee place, Bison Coffee, with amazing coffee drinks like this avocado coffee, unusual for sure, romantic atmosphere, light and live music in the evening. You also can take a half day trip to Tanalot temple from here, which is a very popular temple on a small rock in the sea, which is very popular for Instagram pictures. And this is how it looks in real life, which can be accessed if there is high tide. Here you can buy uh, real cheap souvenirs. Good idea for night fun would be Finn's beach club with dance floor in the pool. A bit expensive place plus taxi mafia won't let you use an app, only their club service, which is at least 10 times more expensive. But if you will walk like 10 minutes from the club, you can use app just fine. I also recommend you to look where you want to go yourself. There is a huge variety of different restaurants and places to visit for any taste in Bali. I want to tell one more thing about money exchange. Do it only in legitimate places with checks and windows and Google Maps to it. All the others are scam. They put a bit higher rates, but eventually steal some of that money from you with a small trick. And if you already know what is what and not buying it, they just refuse to make exchange and even tell all the other scammers about you with, I guess, a WhatsApp chat, so that when you go another place, they will refuse you right away. Like, we don't have money for exchange, go someplace else. And in general, try to use less cash and more credit card. In my next video, I'll show a hotel in Bali jungle with zoo in it, and Paradise Island, Lembangang, with its beautiful beaches. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and leave your comments. 